in the Frugal Chef. Let's make some braised beef ribs today. This is super easy to make and oh so delish. So we're going to braise some short ribs today. These are beef ribs. I cleaned them completely. I took off all the fat and all the membrane and stuff from the back. Okay, so they're nice and clean. I'm cooking for eight people and I have two of these per person, they're about 16 pieces. You can adjust this recipe however you want. Like, see, this one's really nice and big. It doesn't have a lot of meat on it, so whatever. All right now, I'm going to season this generously with salt and pepper. I'm also going to sprinkle some thyme on it. I'm going to let these sit at room temperature for about 20 minutes before we brown them. So I'm heating some olive oil in this pot and I'm going to start browning these ribs. I'm going to work in batches. I want both sides to be browned nicely. Once they're browned on both sides, I will remove them from the pot and finish all of them. All right, let's work on the liquid for our braise. I have 12 ounces of beer in here. It does not matter what beer you use. I'm going to add a can of 14 ounces of crushed tomatoes to this. We're going to add a teaspoon of prepared horseradish. If you can't find prepared horseradish, don't worry about it, okay? I'm adding a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. You can use yellow mustard if you want, that's fine. And a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. So I'm just going to mix that well. I'm going to season this with salt and pepper. All our beef is brown and I don't have a lot of fat in here so that's good. If you had more than this I'd like you to you know take it out of your pot. You just need about a tablespoon to finish cooking this okay. Now we want to use these nice brown bits at the bottom. I'm going to add a tablespoon of water and I'm going to scrape that pan. I'm going to add a large onion which I coarsely chopped. We're going to let this onion cook for four or five minutes until it's softened. This onion has softened. You can see it's translucent. I'm going to add two stalks of celery, which I chopped, and I used the leaves of one of them. I did uh, remove the fiber from the celery. I'm also going to add five garlic cloves, which I minced. We're going to add a little more uh, oil to this. three carrots. They were medium. I just peel them and cut them. Cut them however you want. I'm going to add a tablespoon of oregano to this. We're going to cook this for a few minutes. Um, before we bring back the beef. All right, now we're gonna return the ribs to the pot. As you can see, these are nice and brown. Make sure you put the rest of the juices in here too. Now I'm going to add our liquid. So now what we're going to do is bring this to a boil. I'm going to cover the pot and I'm going to put it in an oven that has been heating at 330 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. It's about 165 degrees centigrade. And we're going to let these braise in the oven for about three hours. And at about the hour mark, hour and a half, I am going to uh, 
move this around a little bit, put the top ribs on the bottom and the bottom ones on top. So check this out. I actually left them in the oven for four hours instead of three. I turned them around like I told you and look at this. They are so tender. Oh, oh well that fell. <laughs> I don't even need a knife to cut them. They're perfect. I'm going to take them out of the pot and we're going to work on our sauce. We're going to let this cool down a little bit and then we're going to skim out the fat. So now with a spoon, I'm just going to carefully take out that excess fat. Look how much fat I got out of that. Ew! <laughs> I'm going to discard this. I'm not going to let this sauce simmer and reduce itself for a bit. Alright, we'll serve this on top of our meat when it's done. Okay, this is good. Oh, look at that. Nice sauce. Okay, I'm just going to return the meat, let it heat for a bit, and we'll serve. A lot of this meat fell off the bone, so, you know, obviously you don't need to serve the bones. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a like, okay? And if you didn't sub, please sub. Okay, so I mean, I served the ribs with a little bit of that sauce on top. This is so tender, look at this. I don't even need to use that knife. Mmm. Let's have a little carrot. All right. Wow, wow, wow. This is so tender and so flavorful. Mmm. I will have this recipe on the website, waiting for you guys to come and print it. Um, in the meantime, be well without going broke. I'm going to see you soon.